Hey phonies, Crazy Pretzel here. As you can see, I'm on the road. I'm on the road in Ohio. That's right, phonies. I'm heading to an independent wrestling show. Going to Remix Pro Wrestling. Now, I live in Indiana. What motivates me to drive to this show, phonies? Well, it's quite simple. Tennille Dashwood is at the show. And, uh, looking forward to seeing her. After all, one of, she was one of my favorites in WWE. And WWE decided to just release her. Because she probably talked a little too much trash on Twitter. But can you blame her, phonies? I mean, WWE has, like, no personalities with their wrestlers anymore. No, no characters and no stars. Everything about WWE is just match after match after match. And, like, there's no, like, storyline progression. And uh, a lot of times it's, like, just matches just to have matches. So, apparently, I think she had gotten released because she, like, was talking too much trash on Twitter. Or something like that. And you know what? She did start the Divas Revolution. She was one of the founding uh, mothers of it, so to speak. And, uh... I mean, she wasn't, like, the founding woman of the wrestling in general that started it, but at least as far as it, like, getting more women and getting more emphasis in WWE versus, like, original days of, like, 2001 to 2006 or whatever. Like, back then... It, had a little bit more emphasis, and then it's kind of like it kind of died down when the with the whole Divas title came around for the most part. So, but yeah, WWE decided to release Emma because she had like too much uh, Twitter trash talking and stuff or whatever. But can you blame her? She was just trying to have a character be herself and get used, you know? Trying to actually make it look like something with pro wrestling. You know, back in the day, WWE used to have good storylines, and it was a hell of a lot more exciting than it is now. It's like garbage right now, pretty much. I still watch it because, let's face it, I'm a pro wrestling fan for life. It's a curse, unfortunately. And I, there's still, like, a lot of good talents on the roster. You got AJ Styles, you got Jeff Hardy, you got Matt Hardy, you got, uh... Da, 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 da. Shelton Benjamin, uh, Drew McIntyre, as I'm trying to remember anybody. I don't know, there's a lot of good talent on the roster. Problem is, is I can't remember it while I'm driving, because I gotta pay attention to the road. It's a pretty crappy, cloudy day outside today, but knock on wood, at least it's not raining at the moment. So, but that's the thing though with WWE, they have like a lot of good talent. But they don't do anything storyline-wise, and they don't want to build stars. I mean, look at it. They still sign, re-sign Brock Lesnar. And it's like, he's really not drawing any ratings or anything. Like, there's really not, the ratings aren't going sky high when he's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand why they keep re-signing this guy when he's only a part-timer. And why he's the champion, and we don't have a weekly champion on Raw is fucking retarded. I just don't get it, phonies. So, but anyway, just thought I would say hello. I'm kind of making my little grand return here. Not saying I'm coming back to, like, YouTube or making videos, like, full-time or anything like that. Um, but I might make some videos here and there. Might make a little rants or reviews on stuff. Or just some thoughts or whatever. So, it's kind of the hip thing to do. Even though there's a lot of uh, weirdo WWE fans nowadays. So, but... Anyway, phonies, I'm off to Remix Pro Wrestling in Ohio. Today is April 21st, 2018, and I am very, very excited. But I still got a long way to drive. I still got a good four-plus hours of driving ahead of me. So, anyway, phonies, I'll check back with y'all later, and I hope y'all are having a good day. Peace out. Except for Grumpy Cheeto. I hope he's having a rotten day. <laughs>